Aegon is a brand new character that we created for this year for the Contest of Champions. He's an interesting character because uh, he's connected to the lore of the contest. In simple terms, he is the first, the first champion of the first Contest of Champions. Aegon is, uh, is part of this race that is indigenous to the Battle Realm. His race is a pacifist race, but he wasn't. He wanted to be a warrior since he was young. So he decided to sneak in and fight in the Contest of Champions, even though he had no powers, no special abilities, no crazy technology. As he gets in, he meets this girl called Cleo, and she inspires him to be a better person and to fight not only for glory in the arena, but for his, his people and try to free his people. He ends up like against all odds, beating all the contestants and going to the final against the master of the contest himself. Aegon fights and does his best and then in the end he manages to beat the, the master. Cleo dies in the process, trying to save him from the master. The master explodes and Aegon loses an arm. He wins the contest and he wins the freedom for his people, but the personal price was really high. The prize for winning the Contest of Champions is his belt made of the Isosphere. So he has the cosmic power of the ISO 8. So they give him the prize and his people, after they get freed, they decide to leave. But because they have the really strict rules about war and violence, he becomes tainted to them. So he's not allowed to come with them even though he fought for their freedom. So he just watches as Contest of Champions come and go you know, through the ages. He's just watching it. He doesn't want to fight anymore until he finds a new reason to come back. And that's what the story picks up in this new Contest of Champions. When I designed Aegon, my main inspiration came through my discussions with Gabe about Aegon's backstory and personality. The main thing that shone through is that he can overcome insurmountable odds using just his pure fighting skill and his willpower. And that sort of core personality attribute sort of made me think about the combo meter that we have in the game. Because they're sort of similar in that they really emphasize player skill and also allow you to overcome opponents just by getting a massive uh, amount of hits and really racking up that meter. As his combo meter gets higher and higher, he's going to unlock more and more and more abilities and he's going to become this overwhelming force that's sort of landing critical hits non-stop and really dealing a ton of damage to the opponent. The biggest challenges we faced with Aegon were, were the, the arm effect. We worked closely with the, the rendering programmers to give us a bunch of uh, tunable abilities to, to give the right glow effect and some alpha blends and gave us the opportunity to push uh, the, the visual quality and really make it feel like he has this power and, and energy behind his attacks. His arms probably is the biggest highlight on uh, this character. Um, not only it can f uh, form and shape into uh, various weapons, it could also blast out uh, energy blasts. He's able in a fight to summon a phantom version of his arm, so it's a powerful like energy version of his right arm. You know, in special movements he can summon maybe his arm or his arm with some kind of weapon or sometimes it's a, just a discharge of energy. So it, it, it basically summons uh, his, his willpower into, into this energy arm. And that's his, his major power, but also a, a painful reminder of what he lost during the process of winning the first Contest of Champions. I'm really lucky to see from the beginning until like, you know, uh, when, when the character comes out and I follow every step of the process. It starts really with a sketch and a little bit of a story, but when you see the artist taking, taking the little sketch that I did and they take it and they sculpt it in 3D and they make it better, you know, they take the, the next step and model it and then at the texture level will make it better, add effects to it. The animators will have inspiration from different sources, they watch movies or watch videos and stuff like that and bring new ideas to the process. So the character is like, it grows at every step and even when we put it out there, the fans have like, oh, this is so cool, I like this or that, and we always listening, so it's, it's really cool. It takes a life of its own. I'm really proud of everything we created, like everything. Even the small stuff that people don't notice, but like we always like, oh, this is 